Hello, hello, scrapbookers. This is Megan, and I am back today with another Stash Raiders layout with my friend Beth, who is Scrapping Wonders, or Rock Your Notebook. She recent, recently changed her shop name, and because um, she's more about scrapbooking inserts than um, scrapbooking. Anyway, sorry, totally off topic. Here you can see I have these four photos and I wanted to scrapbook them and keep it very, very simple. So our challenge this week was to use flares and I had this paper and it's kind of like a, it's an, a fun limey green, but not too limey green, if that makes any sense. And um, I really liked it. So I am going to use these four photos with um, that green paper. And here I am just trying to figure out what I want to put behind the photos. Because I, I know that I do want to have some layers and a couple different things going on behind these photos. So the, the stash that I am using, I knew that I wanted to use this floral paper. Um, this is an older collection from my mind's eye. I should have looked at the name of the collection. Um, and now I can't remember what it's called, but it is, oh goodness, dang it. I think it's called Miles, but it's by my mind's eye. And I bought the collection packs from steals.com probably way back in what 2013 or 2014 um, and I just absolutely loved this collection pack it came with like 50 papers and a chipboard sheet and um, three by four cards and uh, buttons and um, like so many embellishments and just so much stuff. I still haven't used it up and I've been trying to use it up for a long time. <laughs> Probably since 2014. I've been, you know, mixing it with other things and, and trying to use it and it just hasn't worked um, because there was just so much. But there were these chipboard pieces, those um, circles that are up there in the top left hand corner. And since our challenge was flare, I went through a bunch of my flair before I started the layout and I decided on these three pieces that I already have on the layout right now. So you can see in that top right hand photo corner I have one that says love you I think or love this and then I have the floral one that's in that top left hand cluster and then another floral one down in the bottom uh, left of that bottom photo and um, yeah I just I really love how this layout turned out super duper simple but it's just it's perfect that way so I was going through some ephemera that I had just sitting out on my desk and there was this one from oh goodness pink pink paisley uh, Paige Evans and I'm blanking on the collection name I can't remember, but um, it just says, Hey Sugar, and it's the shape of a heart, and it looks kind of like a donut, like it's got sprinkles on it. It's just seriously the cutest thing. So I'm going to put it there where I had it, and then I am going to start gluing down all these photos to this floral paper, and then I'm going to glue the... Um, that green it's kind of like a greenish blue stripe or not stripe it's um polka dots yes <laughs> dots and I'm gonna glue that to the left of it and and that was just a scrap that I had and it was fun to just kind of stick that in there and use that up so now I've got my whole photo mat down and I knew that I wanted to do some journaling um, on this layout and so that's why I ended up using that um, that paper that pattern paper that has the lines on it and I'm gonna put the title right there next to these flowers and it's I'm just gonna call it the babies so these are just four photos of Jonas and me with each one of um, 
the babies that's in our family. So these are all my sister's kids. And um, Jonas is just absolutely in love with his baby cousin. He loves any babies. He loves any little kids. I mean, he loves older kids and kids his age too, obviously, you know, and he loves all his cousins, but like babies have a soft spot in his heart. So I knew that I had to do a layout of these photos all together. And I know that most, <laughs> the three out of the four are black and white. Honestly, I don't know why I printed that one in the top left hand corner color. I do not know why. But then I do the stupid thing of actually gluing it down instead of just, you know, not gluing it and um, <sighs> reprinting it. So yeah, I, I don't know. I might just have to glue on top of it, maybe <laughs> cut a, sh a funky shape out of it. Cause it, as you can see, I just glued some foam on that, on top of the photo with that chipboard piece. And so, yeah, that'll, that'll cause a problem as well. So I should have paid attention to that, but I was just in the zone. So here you can see I'm just gluing away. I think this layout literally took me 40 minutes. I haven't scrapbooked that fast in so long. And so it was fun just to get in here and just, it flowed so quick. And those are the, the layouts that are just so awesome because you don't even have to sit and think, okay, where am I gonna put this? Where am I gonna put this? No, like it just flows and the ideas come and you just glue things down and bibbity boppity boo. <laughs> And your layout is done, right? I just really had so much fun with this layout. Make sure that you head on over to Beth's channel. I will leave a link below to her layout. And um, yeah, make sure that you head on over and check out her video because I'm interested in seeing what she does with flair. I don't know that I've ever seen her really use flair before, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just blanking out because I yeah she's used flair before anyway I'm just being crazy so thank you so much for watching today and I hope that you guys have a wonderful wonderful week bye